1992 and is now embarking on his third year as our university president. We're just learning to work as a staff. We've all come from like places where you've had one, maybe two, and you have to come together to work as a group. Shana's been giving us a chance to win um, almost every time she's came out lately. In the last three or four outings, we've been going to her a lot. Um, I have a lot of confidence in her. I think she has a lot of confidence in herself. So she did a great job. Uh, she made their hitters, to me, look undisciplined. Um, I think they were swinging at balls out of their zone. Um, so she just did a good job. Our hitters showed up, and uh, game one feels like it was a long way away from right now. But uh, we came out like we wanted to. Uh, we didn't finish the way, but we did, we did start the day the way we wanted to. We moved our hitters around in our lineup a little bit, um, took a risk doing that, and uh, we were happy with the way it turned out. Um, we like having, you know, just four true hitters, one through four, kind of just stack the top with power. That was our plan. I liked the way it came out. I liked the way it worked out. Um, Holland does a good job getting on base, you know, then Adcock and Moore. They have the ability to carry us by themselves. Um, they did it in game one. The offense is the key part. Like, I mean, you can't win without scoring, so. It always gives the extra boost of confidence for everybody whenever the runs, the hits string together for the, to score the runs. I was disappointed with the pitching staff, to be honest. Um, uh, I didn't like the start we got. Brooke Watts came in and did a good job for five innings. And then just, you know, you can't do good and then bad. You have to be more consistent. You have to be able to control hitters. And uh, overall, pitching staff didn't give us what we were looking for. Um, gave up way too many hits, way too many runs. Um, never gave our offense a chance to get going. <laughs> I need them to be tougher. I do. Um, I think tough teams win in the long run. I mean, the ability's there. Look at the difference in game one to game two. So I think they have to be tougher. Mentally tougher, physically tougher, um, can handle structure, criticism, failing success. I, they just need to be tougher. This is a uh, this is a good team, but they're, they didn't play like it in game two, and, and they haven't been playing like it consistently. So uh, that's what we're looking for is consistency and toughness. We're going to have to come back with the same attitude we had in the first game, just knowing that we are going to jump on them and we are going to hit. And in the circle for Delta State, number 25, Taylor Johnson.
close game uh, during the first few innings, and my defense really helped me a lot, and the hitters finally came through, and they got the job done. I just saw it and just went for it. I don't, I didn't really think about it. I mean, Corey Watterson, she had a great day. Uh, two, two run uh, home runs, but she's been struggling. She's been struggling. She's been seeing a lot of off-speed pitches. Um, she's struggling with those big time. Um, but two home runs in one game. Our situational hitting was way better today. We did a good job uh, hitting balls on the ground, moving runners over, and then coming through in the big situations. So. I just knew I had to get my job done and I needed to get it together. And today was the day I did that. You never know if kids are going to have it or not. These are 18-year-old freshmen, and Taylor's tough. She, um, she's confident freshman. She wants the ball. She knew yesterday that she was going to get the, uh, the, the call today. Um, there were a couple scary innings for her and for me, and she had a lot of balls hit back up the middle. Uh, but she was confident, and she came through. You know, we asked him to be tough in general and be tough in late innings, and we talked about that yesterday, you and I, and um, they came out today with a little edge and a little toughness, and they got it done. That's all that matters. I think everybody's attitudes just changed and we all got confident and our bats just started coming alive. Hitting's contagious and once one started it just kept going. Whenever your hitters do their job it makes our job easier so that's all we ask for from them.
she kept really confident, kept her composure, and she just kept throwing it in there and letting her defense do the work. We really needed that. If we wouldn't have won that, I don't know. I don't think we would, we'd, if we would have even had a chance to go to conference. So that's all we're trying to do is get there. You want three games if you can, but the, the goal really deep down was to win two. So we showed up to the ballpark today. That was our plan. That's what we asked the players to do. Uh, the effort was there. They, uh, they came through in some big situations. This is a game of um, highs and lows. Uh, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, and when it's good, it's good, and when it's bad, it's bad. And, you know, I wasn't happy with them yesterday. But you know what? They weren't happy with themselves, and that's the kind of team I want. Like, when they mess up, they need to know it without having to have me tell them, and they knew that. And uh, they did today what I asked them to do, and I'm very proud of them and proud to have a series win. I think it boosts our confidence a lot, and hopefully we just keep rolling with it. This week is Lee at Lee. Uh, never been up there before, kind of a newer team to our league, of course. And, uh, excited to go back on the road. It's supposed to rain, I think, but we won't have to worry about that because it's not here, so that's a good thing as well. Uh, we're going to prepare accordingly all week uh, the way we normally do and work on situational hitting and get our pitchers ready and mentally ready and physically ready and uh, just go on the road. And, you know, the, the goal there is also to win two out of three.